If you know that a patient is beginning the process of rejecting an organ, you can change the dose of medication that keeps the immune system uh, from attacking. Droplet digital PCR allows detection of low abundance nucleic acids in complex, high background samples by partitioning each PCR reaction into tens of thousands of droplets. This high sensitivity method is now enabling scientists to develop faster and less invasive molecular diagnostics. In Göttingen, Germany, researchers at Chronix Biomedical are using droplet digital PCR to develop a blood test for early detection of organ rejection. We're still tracking. Right. We have a lot of biomarker that can be used in different organ transplantation, but they are not very sensitive. A good example is in, in kidney transplantation, that as soon as you see that the marker that's increasing in, in the serum of a patient, then we already know that about 50% of the organ is not functioning anymore. And so this is the big advantage that we have testing the circulating DNA of the organ as soon as something happens that affect the organ integrity, we see a rise in the cell-free DNA. The uh, basis of our blood test for organ transplant integrity is SNPs, single nucleotide polymorphisms. Where do I see the difference in the SNPs of this host and this organ? And once you find that, you now have the identity of the organ. When that amount of SNP increases in the blood, that's when you know you're starting to get organ rejection. The challenge for quantification of cell-free DNA is several fold. First, what we're measuring is nanograms of DNA. Number two, even as it's a small amount, it still represents thousands of cells. Most of those cells will come from the host, normal turnover of tissue. Some of that will come from the organ. So we need to quantify very small amounts of DNA and we need to quantify it in relationship to uh, the host. With droplet digital PCR, when you're doing 20,000 PCRs instead of 10, you now have increased the radar screen to let us know more information and more accurate information than we could before. By redefining the limits of rare event detection, Droplet digital PCR has allowed scientists to publish breakthrough findings in areas such as biomarker discovery, cancer mutation and SNP analysis, and infectious disease. So this is really breakthrough technology that allows us to reduce to practice the concept of liquid biopsy. We always knew we could do it, we just never had machinery to do it. So making micro droplets have so many reactions at once puts us in the game of making a very important medical diagnostic. If you can detect and quantify biomarkers earlier, what story will you tell?